When one of your favorite fast food menu items disappears, it can be completely heartbreaking. But with these ordering tricks, some of those discontinued options may not actually be gone forever. Prepare your guts! When IHOP discontinued its cult favorite Cinestack pancakes, there were hundreds and hundreds of requests submitted to bring them back. Sadly, they're not coming back, at least not anytime soon, although there is a way you can still get them. If you just order a stack of regular buttermilk pancakes, you only need three other ingredients to put this one together yourself. The cream cheese frosting is still around, as it's a key ingredient in other items, and cinnamon spread is still around too, since IHOP almost always has something cinnamon on the menu. So just ask for the plain pancakes along with cinnamon spread, cream cheese frosting, and a dollop of whipped cream. You can even ask for extra cinnamon on the side, because everyone knows that cinnamon spread is the best part. Lifelong Taco Bell fans might remember the Cheeserito, a simple, straightforward vegetarian option that was part of the chain's original menu. Since they're so simple, they're also super easy to still order. Just ask for a cheesy roll-up, which is basically a soft tortilla with piles of melted cheese. Add scallions and red sauce, and that's it. You now have a vintage throwback so good, it's had people clamoring for its return. The few ingredients are all staples on Taco Bell's menu that are unlikely to be going anywhere anytime soon. And that's a good thing. They're perfect for a quick snack, and they're not going to break the bank either. Since it was such a popular item that was on the menu for so long, there's probably a devout following of people who ask for it. And even if they have no idea what you're ordering when you ask for a cheeserito, you now know just what to ask for. Taco Bell's Enchirito is a discontinued menu item that's so popularly hacked that it's rumored that some locations might even have a button for it on their cash registers. It's no wonder, as it was on Taco Bell's menu from 1968 to 1993 in its original form, and it made a reappearance from 1999 to 2013 in a modified form. It disappeared completely after that. Or did it? Everything you need to make one is still right on Taco Bell's menu. Start with a burrito supreme with double meat and cheese, but no lettuce or tomatoes. Then go for a side of red sauce and two sides of cheese. If they don't look too busy, ask them to put the sauce and cheese on top and heat the whole thing until it's melted. Add a few optional black olives to the top, and there's your Enchirito, just as good as you remember it. We're not done with lost Taco Bell classics. There's a lot of fast food items that aren't really good for you, but at least you can't say Taco Bell was trying to pass anything on their stuffed menu off as healthy. They may have been filled to the brim with all kinds of stuff that would go straight to your waistline, but they were undeniably delicious, too. Take the Nacho Crunch Grilled Stuffed Burrito, which had a relatively short run from 2005 to 2006 before it disappeared forever. Or did it? You can actually still make this one, and that's great news for anyone who loved the cheesy but crunchy texture of this massive burrito. Start with a beefy nacho griller, then add extra meat, add sour cream and tomatoes, and that's it. 2005, here we come! If you're someone who prefers when the mercury is rising, you may have loved the Volcano Taco. It became a Taco Bell menu edition in 2009, but it was subsequently dropped when the fiery Doritos Locos Taco became a thing. The Locos Taco is great, but by no means is it the same thing. There's one thing the new Doritos Taco doesn't have. Lava sauce. You ever been face down in lava sauce, son? Fortunately, there is a way to hack into getting that hottest of hot sauces. Just order a side of nacho cheese, mix in two or three fire sauce packets, and you're super close to getting that extra hot, cheesy goodness back on your taco. As for the rest, just order a fiery Doritos Locos Taco, then add the sauce you just mixed up. Bon appetit! It's the Big and Tasty. The McDonald's Big and Tasty wasn't popular enough to stay on the menu full time as it was discontinued in 2011, but it still comes back every once in a while for special occasions. But what if you don't want to wait? You can still put this one together for the most part. McDonald's created the Big and Tasty to go head to head with Burger King's Whopper, and that's essentially what it is. Start with a quarter pounder with cheese without ketchup and mustard, then add lettuce and tomato. The Big and Tasty also came with a smoky sauce, but it's so close to the Big Mac special sauce that you can add that and you're 99% of the way there. Just ask for barbecue sauce on the side, mix, apply, and you're good to go. You can't get a 100% authentic McDLT from McDonald's anymore, but that's completely fine. When this Whopper-esque burger was discontinued in the early 1990s, it was due to a shift in how environmentally conscious the chain was. 
It was served in a two-part polystyrene container, so it's a good thing they don't do that anymore. But the burger itself was a brilliant concept. The idea behind the McDLT was that it was served up to you in a single container with two sides, hot and cold. The hot half was the bottom bun and the burger patty. The other half, with the top bun, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, was kept cold since it was served in a separate side of the insulated container. On top of all that, a pre-Seinfeld Jason Alexander was the pitch man in a McDLT commercial. Could be the best tasting lettuce and tomato hamburger ever! McDonald's still has all those ingredients, so you can still put it all together. Just ask for a naked quarter pounder, then add lettuce, mayo, and tomato. Packaged separately, of course. Sure, it's a little extra work on your end, and a lot more environmental waste, and probably an annoyed cashier. But who wants hot lettuce? We're not savages. In 2016, countless Chick-fil-A aficionados were devastated when the spicy chicken biscuit was dropped from the menu in many, though not all, locations. While some spots still offer the spicy slice of breakfast deliciousness, some Chick-fil-A devotees may have to resort to other means to procure this fan favorite. This one takes some timing. Chick-fil-A stops serving breakfast at 10.30, and that's when they technically stop making those incredible buttered biscuits and start making lunch, which includes the spicy chicken sandwich. If you have nothing better to do, you can time your visit for that sweet spot between breakfast and lunch and ask nicely for a leftover biscuit from breakfast to go along with a lunchtime spicy sandwich. If you loved Starbucks salted caramel mocha frappuccinos during the holiday season, you're not the only one. They were amazing, a combination of chocolate, mocha, and caramel with just a dash of sea salt. Here's the good news. Though they're technically not on the menu anymore, you can still order one, if you know what to ask for. Start with a caramel frappuccino and ask if they'll make a few adjustments for you. Blend mocha and toffee nut syrup into the coffee and finish it off with the usual whipped cream and a caramel drizzle on top. As for the sea salt, that's the only ingredient that's not going to be in stock. But one barista who posted on Reddit discovered a bit of a workaround. Just take one packet of raw sugar and mix it with two packets of ordinary salt. The effect is so similar, you'll believe that you actually ordered the salted caramel mocha frappuccino straight off the menu again. The Yumbo is such a weird name for a sandwich that it's hard to believe anyone ever took it seriously. Yumbo. Yumbo. In fact, according to Snopes, a theory started circulating on social media in 2014 that said that Burger King had created a fake 1970s-era sandwich in an attempt to get everyone talking about their product instead of lamenting the loss of McDonald's McRib. But the Yumbo was actually real, and when it came back in 2014, it was to a somewhat confused reception. It garnered headlines like the Houston Chronicles, Burger King's uninspired Yumbo may give sandwiches a bad name. So it's no wonder you can't find it on menus today. If you're so inclined, though, you can still piece it together, as long as you head to BK during breakfast. That's when you can get ham from the sandwich along with cheese. Ask for it on a sesame seed roll with some mayo, and you've got your old-school yumbo. And lettuce isn't necessary, despite what the 21st century yumbo might have you believe. But really, it's just a ham sandwich. Make one at home. America has been in a serious relationship with bacon for years, and it's easy to see why. It's the perfect complement to just about anything. So when Burger King released the Bacon Sunday in summer 2012, it was shocking only because it had taken them so long. It debuted in Nashville and then spread to other markets, but it was always designed as a limited-time offer. That's a bummer because of how perfect bacon and chocolate are together, with both caramel and fudge adding to that perfection. The good news is you can absolutely still order this one. BK still has both caramel and chocolate fudge sundaes, so just order one with both toppings. Then order a side of bacon, smash, sprinkle, and dig in. Frings were perhaps the laziest of all sides, and they were only on the menu at Jack in the Box for a short time in the 1970s. They're exactly what they sound like, half onion rings, half french fries. They're literally what happens when someone's not being too careful with their scoop and you get some of each in an order. And it's not strange that they were discontinued. What's strange is that you could ever order them at all. Although they are fun to say, so we'll give Jack in the Box credit for that much. You can still easily get this option, and not just from Jack in the Box. In fact, you can get it from any fast food place that has both onion rings and french fries on the menu. Just order a half and half. Or if that's not an option, order a small one of each plus a large container to mix them in. And just like that, your most important lunch dilemma is solved. 
check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.